So now, okay. So we've covered tunnel mode and transport mode. Now let's talk about split tunnel and full tunnel. What is the difference between these two terms? Okay. So let me let me go back to the drawing board and erase all of it. All right. Now we are going to be talking about split tunnel versus full tunnel. Okay. The thing to keep in mind about split tunnel and full tunnel is that there are two types of VPNs. So first one is a site-to-site -site VPN. It is also known as a land-to-land -land VPN. So if I were to draw it out here, let's say we have these two routers, and then behind these two routers, we have LAN. So these are the systems. And then this is the internet. And then they have this router also has its own LAN, LAN behind it. Okay. So let's say this is the, again, head office. This is a branch office. Okay. Now the VPN that we establish between this LAN and this LAN over here, this will be called a site to site VPN or a LAN to LAN VPN. Okay. It's one and the same thing, site to site VPN, because it is a VPN from this site or this LAN to this site or this land. So site to site VPN or L2L VPN is it's one and the same thing. But these terms that I'm talking about here, split tunnel versus full tunnel, they are used in case of RA VPN, which is remote access VPN. So what is remote access VPN? So this example that I just gave you, this is site to site VPN or L2L VPN, but remote access VPN is when a remote user makes a VPN connection with the VPN head end. So for example, let's say we have this head office here, and we have some some remote users who are on the go who have to connect with the head office from the road from home or while they're working remotely from some coffee shop for example so let's say we have this remote user and this remote user needs to connect to this let's say we have this uh, file server file server is residing behind this head office so this remote user this uh, remote access user needs to connect to this file server in the head office so remote user can also establish a vpn connection to this head office all right so this kind of a connection is called a remote access vpn connection okay now when we are talking about remote access vpn connection there are two types of tunnels that can be built first one is a full tunnel so what is a full tunnel in case of a full tunnel what happens is once this remote access user has built a vpn connection from his own computer to this vpn head end then all traffic will be going over this VPN tunnel, okay? So now let's say this user wants to access this file server. So the traffic will be initiated, will be created on this user's computer. That traffic will be sent over the VPN tunnel to the head end. This head end device will decrypt the traffic and it will forward that traffic to the file server. And then file server will respond back. It will send it back to the router. The router will encrypt the traffic and send it again over the VPN tunnel to the remote user. Now, with full tunnel, what happens is that, like I said, all traffic goes over the VPN tunnel. So for example, let's say now there is a server here. Now there is some web server, for example, from Google, or it could be some other server, for example, some Netflix server or something else. Now this user wants to access this web server over the internet. It is not a private server. It is not their own company server. It is a private, it is a public server on the internet, like some Netflix or some, some public web server. So because of full tunnel, what, what will happen is this user will, when tries to when it when he tries to go to this web server on Google, that traffic will also go over the VPN tunnel and hit the VPN head ends uh, head end uh, device, which could be a router or a firewall, whatever. Then this device, this router will decrypt that traffic and it will see that the traffic is actually going is, is actually towards the internet. It is not behind this router. So it will again send the traffic back out. The traffic will take a U-turn on the same interface and it will send it towards this web server. I mean, it will mostly take a U-turn, but there are some cases where it may not necessarily be need to send out through the same interface. But what you need to understand is that in case of a full tunnel, all traffic, whether it is destined for the head ends, the head offices network, or whether it is destined for something over the internet, in case of full tunnel, all traffic will go over the VPN tunnel. And from there on, 
it will be sent out towards the internet in clear text or maybe it will be sent out to the file server wherever it needs to go okay now as you can see here there are some challenges that can come into uh, that that can be observed here because now uh the access to this web server over the internet can be a little slower right because in this case instead of going directly towards the web server the traffic is taking unnecessary extra hops because it has to go over the vpn tunnel first get decrypted and then it will be sent to the web server so it it does add some additional delay and it does add some extra overload for this router as well all right so this is full tunnel so the opposite of full tunnel is split tunnel so in in case of split tunnel you as the network administrator you get to decide what travels over the vpn tunnel and what goes out in clear text directly to the destinations so for example let's say this file server network is uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. so this is the network that is behind this router all right and you know that uh when these remote access users connect to their vpn or uh, vpn in the head office they only need to access this network and nothing else because all of their required resources are in this network. So as the network administrator, you can configure the VPN configuration in such a way uh, that you tell the VPN uh, router that only the traffic that is destined for this network must, must travel over the VPN tunnel. Any traffic that is not going to this network, 192.168.1.0, that does not need to be sent over the vpn tunnel and that configuration will actually be pushed to this computer here when this user is trying to con is trying to connect the vpn tunnel so next time when this user connects to this vpn head end and if split tunneling is enabled then when this remote user tries to access something in the 192.168.1.0 network then that traffic will be sent over the vpn tunnel but if it is trying to access some public web server, for example, web server, which could have an IP address of, let's say, 30.10.2.5, which is the public IP address, which is not part of this network, then this will not be sent over the VPN tunnel. It will be sent in clear text and directly towards that web server. All right. So that is the difference between full tunnel and split tunnel, which is applicable in case of remote access VPNs. So let's go back to the mind map here and see what it says. So these terms are used with remote access VPN where a remote end user is connected to the organization's VPN head end, like I said. So what is a full tunnel? Full tunnel means that once the remote user is connected to the VPN head end, all traffic originating from the user's computer will go over the VPN tunnel to the VPN head end. This means that even if the user is trying to access some resource over the internet, the internet bound traffic will still go over the VPN tunnel reach the organization's VPN head end and then go out to the internet, okay? This is more secure because all traffic from user's computer is encrypted, but it can cause additional delay for internet bound traffic because of the longer path the traffic has to take. So what is a, sorry, one moment. So talking of split tunnel now, Split tunnel means that once a remote user is connected to the VPN head end, only the traffic destined for organization's networks residing behind the VPN head end goes over the VPN tunnel. And internet bound traffic continues to go out outside the VPN tunnel, just like it would if the user was not connected to VPN, okay? It is less secure than full, -time, than full tunnel because it provides an opportunity for someone to access the remote user's computer over the clear text internet link and then gain access to organization's resources over the VPN link. So it is slightly less secure than full tunnel, but it has its own benefits. So it is uh, it is an option that is still very much used. Okay.